Hi there. Uh, now, in this screencast or the fifth screencast, we're going to talk about reusing code in PHP. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to use, we're going to follow a project which we are going to do, and we're going to build on that project, uh, learning how to add PHP concepts to to an existing project so that we have something in mind. So, in order to work with me, if you want, to, if you want to work with me, you can just go to this URL. Just drmispa.net slash screencast. What you will find is I'm going to for each lecture if I'm if I'm planning to add or sh give you some resources, I can add these resources over here. So in lecture five, we're going to start with a project. This is a zip file, so you can just go ahead and download this zip file just by double clicking the the link over here. It is yeah, it's, it's downloading. So until it downloads, I'm going to show you something. First, okay, it's ready now. So I'm going to download this in my exam folder that we did. So it's the E drive, exam, SD docs. Okay, save. Okay, downloaded. So first, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. File, new PHP project, and may name this project by from me. Okay. Okay, I did this bad thing. I put the path of this project in a different location. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just delete this project and I'm going to add a new one. Okay, so let's say I'm going to add a new one this time. Hopefully, I don't make the same mistake. Buy from me. I'm going to use a location, change the location browse it and then I'm going to select my e drive because that's where my root directory is go down select xamp htdocs and I want to make a new folder I want to call that folder let's say by to make it caps by from so I'm going to say OK and then that's the new oops I don't know what happened I created the new folder somewhere else I cannot create it somewhere else because it will not work I told you it should have, it has to be an exam and htdocs with an exam so I'm going to select this and then I'm going to say make a new folder and then I'm going to say bye from me okay from me then select that folder, press OK. So that's correct. Now XAMP as she dogs by for me. That's that's the folder I want my project to be in. Let's say finish and that's that's the project that is added. Don't confuse it to this one. I'm just probably going to close the project so that it doesn't confuse us over here. So this is the one that we are working with. Okay? Now to use that let's go ahead to our XAM file, XAM, the SG docs, and then we saw that we just downloaded this from the website that I showed you. This is the website. drmisbah.net slash screencast. So you can just download this project to, in order to work with me. And then go ahead and extract it over here. Right click on it and say extract here. You'll see that everything will be extracted in by from me, the one that we created just now, which is which has some files which has this NB project, project, fav, fav icon file, and a CSS file with styles and image files, some image files that are already available within the code. Now, so there is one file already created for us, which is index file. So I'm going to go ahead and see in my project that is already added. So I'm going to open this index.php file, and you will see that the actually the name of the file is index.php, but it's all HTML code everything inside this is HTML okay I, I have I have not started adding any PHP code to it right now so if you have this card just go ahead and see how it looks like in the browser so we have screen we have we started a new project right so I'm going to delete this and say bye from me okay so this is a sample program that we this is the this is the program that we the, the index.php file we have in our project it's a sim simple file with some headers some body tags with some items displaying and a footer that's what we 
have over here so you can see that this is the header part of my code this is the content part of my code where I am talking about the different images different different things I have the latest stuff the latest stuff and everything with pictures and then we have the footer with two links for Twitter and Facebook okay that's what what we saw over here in this page now using this case study what we are going to do is we are going to add PHP to it okay now how do we do that so we are going to learn different things while doing that now as I told you in this lecture what we are talking about or in this screencast what we are talking about is how to reuse PHP and see whenever you are working with a project so whenever you're working with any project you see that many times you have the header you see this bar at the back this is the header the main tie with the logo and some hyperlinks this is the header and then you have the footer where you have the copyright statement and then you have some links the thing is most of the time most of the project these two things always remain the same I mean, you don't change them you just you just use them you just you just you just use the copy paste them you copy paste the same structure everywhere you want so that for example if your project has 10 pages every page will have an HTML will have a header and a footer which have some things inside it now suppose suppose that in the future I want to say that okay I decided to add one more link one more menu item to my project you know you'll be in a bit of trouble because in that case you will actually need to add that one item to all the 10 pages individually or suppose that in the future I told you that okay uh, this this now shows 2013 I want to make it to 2014 so if you have 10 pages you have to go ahead and write that in all those 10 pages which is not a very good way of doing things so what we are going to do over here is to say how we can take out our common things into a different file and then just use them so let's see how we can do that and PHP allows us to reuse items from an existing although HTML5 now also provides you with that scenario but we are going to talk about using PHP so let's go ahead and do something let's let's first create a new file and let's call that file a header file so I'm going to call that file a header dot PHP file okay and I'm going to do that in my buy from me project that I just created and then say finish so I have an, a, a header dot PHP file which is empty right now So I'm going to go ahead to my index dot PHP file and copy everything from the beginning until the content I don't want to copy the content because the content is going to differ based upon whatever my project is whatever my page is talking about so my page can be for doing something different it's not it's not a home page maybe it's a different page the only thing that is common within all the pages is the header part is the header part the the, the logo and the menu bar so I'm going to copy everything starting from the top of the page to this part and I'm going to just cut it okay I'm just going to control X cut it and then go back to my header.php and then simply paste it over there okay uh, that looks good right now I'm going to go back to my index.php page save this first Let's go. and then I want to go down and I want to also remove the footer part because this is also common in all pages right this is also common in all pages so I'm going to go ahead and create another file and this time I'm going to call that file footer.php then I'm going to say finish and I'm going to go back to my index.php file cut this the remaining part which is the footer and then come back to my footer.php and then just simply paste it over there okay so now as you can see I have a partial index.php page you can see that when I run it you will see the difference see it doesn't have any style because you saw that I what I was using over here is my styles well all inside the header see this is where my style is this is where my style CSS style is but since it's not no longer inside my index page it goes to a different page over here and the footer also goes to a different page so 
if you see this I no longer have a header so no longer I, I do not have a style and I don't have a footer statement as well now in order to make my project work properly although I have removed my header and footer files I what I need to do is I need to call them over here I need to somehow call the header file over here and call the footer file over here PHP allows you to do that how does PHP allows you to include one file inside the other so I'm going to include PHP code over here so you remember that I, I told you that whenever you want to add PHP to an HTML code you just need to write it between these two things these two delimiters so I start my delimiter over here PHP code and then end it over here and within that now I have to write a function in PHP that allows me to call this header dot PHP file now this this function in PHP is called include okay include now what this include does is it will call my header file within it call any other file within an existing HTML uh, PHP file so I'm going to say include and then use header dot PHP you can use a quotation over here or you if you prefer to use brackets because it's a function I can actually call it using a function okay so I'm going to even do that over here let's call it using a function because it's a string I have to use quotations inside at least Okay, so this is how I'm going to include my header.php within my existing file. So I'm going to save this now and let's go back and see how my project looks like. So I'm going to refresh this. See, now I have a header. So I just added this line which says include header and then it just simply adds that to our page. Okay, but still the footer is missing because I didn't add the footer, I just included the header. Now to add the footer, I can just simply go down do the same thing over here to add my PHP code so whenever I want to add my PHP code I have to use these lines and then I go down and inside over here I, c I have to do the include use call the include function so include and then this time I'm calling the footer dot PHP so I'm going to say footer dot PHP and I just simply save this okay so I call the include function footer dot PHP and then I'm going to refresh this page and when you go down you see now I have the footer as well so this way I'm reusing my code I'm, I'm creating two separate files and then now I'm reusing that code within over here now include is not the only function you can do this with PHP provides you with two, th two functions that actually does this job include and require there's a small difference between include and require let me show that difference to you now suppose that instead of using the include function I use require okay now for some reason my header.php file doesn't exist so I'm going to just simply rename this to show you say so, okay let's call it header1 okay so let's let's use it using include first and then see what happens so suppose I'm including a file which doesn't exist I'm including header.php which doesn't exist see I renamed it to header1.php so I'm including a file where it doesn't exist so I'm going to go back to my page and then refresh it you see what happened it gave me warnings it gave me warnings that this file is not doesn't exist okay now let's see what happens when I use require instead of using include I'm going to use require okay I'm going to save this again and then I'm going to refresh this. You see what happened? The two difference between these two. Although the previous one using include provided me the error, it still loaded the HTML part of the code, right? But the issue with, with using the other one is it doesn't even load the PHP page. It, starts, it stops loading whenever there is an error. So that's the difference between using require and include. They do the same thing. They both do the same thing. They, they, they allow you to add an HTML an external file into your current file they allow you to include an external file into your current file the only difference is include will carry on running the project it will it will just give you a warning and carry on running the project but when you're using require that means it will stop working your project it will not display the HTML part of it it will just stop the execution 
So that's the difference. It will stop the execution. So it's important that you decide which one to use. If you want to, if you want to show ahead your include page, even though your file is not available, you can just simply use include, and then you can just simply say include, and then your file is still there, but it's not working because you don't have it. You don't have it inside. Okay. So that's how you reuse your PHP. Your PHP is in that. So now, what wh what is the? Uh, so I'm going to go back and rename my file from header one to rename it to header.php to get back to my project and then save it ok and then I'm going to go back and see what happens to my project which should work right now so it's working now what I need to do is I'm just going to ok so what's the main advantage of doing that is suppose now I want to create another page in my project so let's say I'm going to create a new file in my project and let's call this file contact.php okay so I'm going to create a new file in my project which is called contact.php now this new file also is going to have a header and a footer so whenever I'm doing that I don't need to I don't need to write I don't need to write the PHP I don't need to rewrite the header and copy paste the header I just simply need to say include and in that case I'm going to say header.php Okay, and simply again, I'm going just simply going to say PHP include footer dot PHP, and that's it. I mean, that's that's how my code will look like in the beginning, and then I can add whatever body that I have for the code. So if you just go ahead and see how my code looks like in contact dot PHP can see that it has a header and it has a footer the body is missing because I didn't write it up till now so this this is how simple it becomes to write a new page in your project if the header and the footer remains the same and that's the that's and that's the case whenever you have something you actually have the same and the same header and the footer and that's how you do that so I'm just going to complete this using my HTML code which is div and I have a class over here in this case called uh, content okay and then within that class again I have another class called section and within that div again I have another div and this time this one is called wrapper and then the, in that case I'm going to just say h1 tag and say contact or contact me this is some HTML code that I have just written just to simply show that this is my body part of the page and then I'm going to go back to my page contact.php and see this is what happens I have contact me page written over here okay so this is what happens when we when we simply just want to uh, use reuse our code inside the page okay so uh, you can hear my son actually talking at the background so I'm just going to finish it right now and then we're going to resume back to the next screencast where I'm going to talk about how to use variables that we learned earlier in this project and, and some issues with the current way of working this and how to how we can actually solve that problem okay